Hi guys, it's Candy, or should I say Kylie Jenner. So you guys totally requested me to do this look, this transformation look. Comment below who you want me to do next. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video I'm gonna do or who I'm gonna look like next. And this look is so pretty, you could just wear this every day. I know this lip color is really a sought after lip color, which I will show you how to get. And then I'll tell you all about the wig and how I colored it and all that stuff at the end. And um, let's get started. Um, just so you guys know, it's like two, it's three. Three in the morning, just finishing this tutorial at three in the morning. Let's get going. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is apply foundation all over. I'm going to be using a liquid and a cream. So I'm just going to take my RCMA palette that has all these different colors so I can kind of highlight and contour my face to look more like hers. She has a wider bridge of the nose right here and forehead and kind of different shaped chin so I'm going to use this lightest color. Then I'm going to take a darker brown and we're going to shade this to make my forehead look smaller. And we're going to go down the sides of the nose. I'm going to blend this all the way. I'm going to shade right here. Now I'm just gonna take a translucent setting powder and just set all of our makeup. Now I just took some of this fawn from the Anastasia of Beverly Hills contour palette and I just went right down the side of my nose. I realized I totally wasn't even recording that, but this was just to make my nose look a little more squared off like hers. And right here at the tip, we kind of flattened it out and then you just blend it down along the sides of the nose. And then I brought it all the way up. Then you can take the same contour color, any kind of dark, brown color, you can even use eyeshadow, and I'm just going to put it right here where she has kind of these hollows of her cheekbones, and then I'm also going to take this color on the temples and right around my hairline to make my forehead look smaller. And the lower part of her face is a little more rounded right here, so I'm just going to kind of shade this to make it look a little more rounded. And she has kind of a really peachy pink blush. This is just mocha, and I'm just going to use this right here, kind of up on the apples on the outer pitch. This is a light wash of color. Okay, now I'm just gonna be using any nude colors. This is from the Glam Palette from Ben Nye. Any of this nude peach or light color, you could also use from the Smoke Palette from Urban Decay, these two light colors, or any peachy nude colors. So with a fluffy brush, just take your peach color and sweep that all over the lower part of the lid, all the way up to your brows. I'm gonna take this darker nude color and sweep this right here on the outer crease of the eye. And then right on the crease or right above the lid towards where you would have a crease. And then you can use a little touch of your lighter color and put that right underneath the brow. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a peachy color. This is Samoa Silk from MAC. And I'm gonna sweep this right on the middle of the eyelid to the outer corners, and I'm gonna put this right here. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of charcoal brown and my fluffy brush again, and we're gonna put this right into the crease just to add a little bit of depth and dimension right here to the eyes. I'm gonna take a small smudgy shaped brush, and I'm really gonna go into the crease right here all the way to the front of the eye, kind of crease and lid area. And I'm gonna take the same color and I'm gonna sweep this right just along the lash line. So for this look, she just has a black wing liner. I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Quick Fine Liner. You can use any soft liner to line your eyes. You wanna start very thin where the lashes start growing. And I just like to lay my brush down flat on the skin against the lash line and then draw it outward. And then I just draw it outward and then I just fill it in towards the lash line. I'm just gonna go upwards with a little slight flip. Now we're going to do the other eye. For her eye shape, you wanna make sure you start off thin and then you make this more rounded on the outer corners and that will make it look more like her actual shape eye. So I'm gonna take an angled brush and just some black eyeshadow and I'm gonna press that right into the lash line. Next, we're going to do her brows, and I'm just taking the Chocolate Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and an angle brush, and she has kind of like the ombre brow that starts lighter and then it gets darker. I'm gonna start with the darkest part here, and then I'm gonna try to arch my brows down or pointed right here. 
We're just gonna kind of taper and not all the way define the front part. So let's put it right here in the middle. And then you just don't go all the way to define the very beginning so it kind of just fades into your eyebrow. I don't normally wear my eyebrows like this, but we're gonna do it like it today. Now we're just going to curl our lashes and put a couple coats of mascara and then I'm gonna put some individual lashes on. And when you put your mascara on for this look, you wanna make sure you go in all directions so you go this way, out all the way around. Now for just an extra step, because I think she probably has eyelash extensions, I'm just gonna take some of the individual lashes and stick some on to make it look a little more fluffy on the eye area. And I'm just using regular eyelash adhesive because I don't wanna use the thermal lash glue because I do want these to come off. So I'm just gonna set the long one on the outer corner. And my eyelashes are so fluffy with my lashes. Okay, now it's time for that classic kind of nude rose lip. And I have two colors I'm gonna use. This is Soar from MAC with a little bit of the 5C from Makeup Forever on top. And then for a drugstore kind of dupe, you could use the Revlon Color Stay in Nude. And her lip is overdrawn from her normal lip shape, so we're just gonna do a little bit of that to exaggerate a little more. The lower lip is very rounded. And then I'm just gonna fill it all the way in. And then the top is very overly drawn, very rounded on the sides also. And fill this in. Then I'm gonna take the 5 seat and just line the edges to give it a little bit of dimension and a little more brown color to it. And this is gonna stay very matte all day long, so no lip glosses or anything with this look. What I heard was that she used Whirl from MAC and a little bit of Viva Glam 2 and another color, Brave, I believe, from MAC mixed all together. So now we're gonna get the wig and we'll show you the whole look. So here we have our total Kylie Jenner look. There was a couple different pictures that I saw on her Instagram where she had like super green hair and then the light hair, but this wig, it was really tricky to do because I got this like longer wig and then it had to be cut in kind of this bob shape and then I tried to chalk it. That didn't work on the synthetic hair so I used some Graftobian hairspray in white first and then I sprayed the green on top so that it was really pigmented and it's really just like stiff and crunchy now, but <laughs> I think it looks okay. So I hope you guys like it. You don't have to do the wig part. If you guys do this look, will you please tag me or at me on Instagram so I can see your version of it too because I would love it. And make sure that you subscribe so you can see more videos like this and comment below what look or who do you want me to do next. And then don't forget you can follow me everywhere because you can see me filming and sneak peeks and all kinds of cool things and just more stuff I say and just be like my best friend everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Vine, Pinterest, Tumblr, everywhere. You can find me on the internet at Candy Johnson and you can be my best friend all over the place. So that will be so fun. Huge hugs, lots of sleep, hopefully soon from my out <laughs> to yours. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Doing transformation into tutorials, tutorials, tutorials. You know what I'm saying. Mwah.